So hopefully everybody's having a good day wherever you're at. Uh, I want to apologize. Earlier in some of my videos, I kind of uh, cursed and sweared a lot. Uh, I normally don't curse, curse and swear that much. So if I offended anybody, I apologize. Just a fair warning in the future, if I drop the F-bomb here and there, uh, don't blame me. So don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so yeah, topic. I know in my last video I said I was going to do a topic, so I have one for you guys. And my topic is... My motorcycle accidents and close calls. That would be a good first topic to discuss with you guys. Since I've had my fair share of them, to say the least. Alright, so yeah. My motorcycle accidents and close calls. Let's see. My first accident was on a 2008 Ninja 500 EX. Uh, I was probably riding for about six months prior to the accident. And uh, basically, uh, I was coming home from work. At the time I was working the night shift and so it was dark and it was about uh, 3 in the morning and uh, I was doing about 40 or so uh, it happened on a uh, two lane road like this one and uh, I was cruising, cruising along at 40 I uh, didn't have my high beams on which was probably one of my mistakes and I was cruising along and uh, there was this jogger jogging in the middle of the road uh, he only had tennis shoes, shorts and I think a t-shirt, I'm not sure I uh, didn't have any reflective gear anyways long story short I saw him at the last second I tried to swerve to avoid him didn't uh, avoid him in time I ended up both sliding the bike doing about 40 and uh, at the time I only gear I had was a, a helmet and gloves I didn't have a jacket or boots or pants so I went down to my left side and uh, got a fair amount of road rash on my shoulder uh, I do have pictures of that there you go yep there's my shoulder it's not too graphic, but some of you may uh, get squeamish over it. But uh, yeah, my shoulder got a fair amount of road rash. Uh, the knee, I got a little bit of road rash. I have a picture of that also. I didn't get too much road rash on the uh, knee. Uh, the worst injury to the knee was uh, it got swollen really bad. And for about two or three weeks, I could hardly walk. I was, oh god, it was painful. It was by far the most amount of pain I've ever had from a motorcycle motorcycle accident. Even the shoulder was not that bad, but the knee, god, that that fucking sucked. And the main reason why it sucked is, is because uh, it was swollen. I mean, it was fucking swollen big. And uh, at the time, I was just starting a new job, so I couldn't take any time off, and I had to work with the swollen knee, and and it just sucked. It was, it was bad. So yeah, that was my first accident. And uh, here's a picture of my first bike. It was a red EX500. Bought it used with a couple thousand miles on it. And uh, it was a good bike though, it didn't have any mechanical problems with it. Even after the uh, accident, it still rode great. Uh, nothing internally was damaged, so... Uh, I just basically picked it up after the accident. And uh, well, after the accident I had to call my parents because I couldn't ride the bike, obviously because of my uh, knee. So I had to call my parents, my parents came. My dad rode the bike home, my mom uh, drove me home in the truck. And uh, I probably didn't ride for uh, oh, about a month, maybe, or so. Uh, let's see, uh, another accident I had uh, wasn't too bad. It was, wasn't my fault, it was this other dude's fault. 
And uh, basically what happened is I was uh, sitting in a parking lot waiting for um, my family to catch up with me because at the time we were riding, riding together and uh, uh, my parents were on a cruiser so I would usually get ahead of them. Uh, so I pulled over to wait up for him in this parking lot and I was sitting there, you know, waiting for him. And uh, this dude in this fucking huge 4x4 truck backed into my ass. And uh, luckily he stopped before he went, ran completely over me. And uh, I didn't get away with any injuries on that. I came out good. Uh, the bike, on the other hand, uh, I think the... Uh, I think the um, clutch lever was bent. Uh, oh yeah, and the lower fairing on it, it was fucking cracked all the way down. I got a picture of that too, I'll insert it for you guys to look at. Uh, but yeah, the fairing was cracked, uh, bent lever, and uh, what else? I think, oh yeah, and the muffler got scraped up a little bit too. Uh, other than that, nothing really serious. My next one's uh, more embarrassing than anything else. And uh, you know what? I'll share it for you guys since I'm a nice guy. Uh, this is this is a pretty embarrassing moment. Now, everybody's dropped their bike at some point in time. If you've owned a bike long enough, more than likely you've dropped a bike before. So, uh, I did drop my bike, but in this case, it was in the middle of an intersection. And uh, I was sitting at a, a stoplight, waiting to go left, and so the light was red, I was waiting to go left, uh, at the time I had my dad behind me, and uh, I had uh, this Harley in front of me, with this uh, passenger on the back, I think it's probably his uh, husband and wife, but they were in front of me, my dad was behind me, um, sitting at the red light, waiting for the green arrow to turn left, and this, uh, I think it's a BMW, went by me on the right, uh, going through the intersection. I happened to glance over as they went by, and out of my corner of the, out of the corner of my eye, I saw the light turn green, but I was unaware that the bike in front of me had not moved yet, so I proceeded to you know, started to go, and right when I started to go, I looked straight, and I saw that the bike in front of me did not move yet. I lost my balance, and down I went. And that was probably the most embarrass embarrassing, yeah, embarrassing accident I've ever had so far. Um, I didn't, not uh, on the damage for the bike on that one. Uh, I think my rear brake uh, lever was bent. Uh, I scuffed up the brake lever and uh, the mirror a little bit, and that's about it. Didn't get any uh, injuries to myself. I was all right. Uh, my next accident, you guys probably know. If you followed my videos, you probably know what it is. It's you know uh, my ZX10. 09 model orange. I uh, low sided that doing 80, and I'm not going to go into great de detail about that. Uh, I have the video uh, link for you guys if you want to click on that and check it out. Uh, it goes in more detail about it. Uh, I've had a few close calls while I've been riding, of course. Nothing that really stands out in my mind. Uh, just the general stuff of, uh, you know, people cutting into your lane, um, oh yeah, there was just one close call, and this was totally my fault, <laughs> uh, it was when I had my 500, and, uh, I was a fairly new rider, had the bike for, like, I mean, four or five months, maybe, something like that, you know, I was pretty aggressive at the time, I, I didn't have any accidents before this, so, you know, I wasn't, uh, worried about going down or nothing, I was pretty much fearless, <laughs> So anyways, um, I was going down this uh, two lane road here like this again, and uh, there was a right corner coming up. It wasn't really anything sharp, you know, it wasn't like a knee dragon corner or nothing, um, but you know, uh, 
I was still new, pretty aggressive, so of course I had to take it as fast as I could. So, uh, so there's this uh, car in front of me. I don't know, he's maybe uh, four or five car lengths in front of me, and uh, I was, you know, going into into this corner pretty fast, probably uh, 60 or 70 maybe, and. Uh, this car in front of me, uh, I wanted to make a left turn in the middle of the corner. And I was probably, you know, already uh, halfway through the corner behind him. And I came within inches of probably rear, rear ending this guy. And he, I mean, uh, I came within inches of going off the side of the road trying to avoid this guy. I don't know how close I got, but it was pretty effing close. Uh, I had a uh, 08 uh, ZX6, or no, 09, that's what I said. It was a 09 ZX6 I had. Uh, it got stolen though from me out of my garage. Out of my garage. Uh, I probably had the bike for, I don't know. Uh, normal four or five months maybe six uh, before it got stolen out of my garage um, so yeah that's uh, pretty much all my accidents for you guys